Despite more than a decade's worth of effort to prevent suicides among service members, the numbers just continue to rise. Now the Pentagon is taking another major step. The Defense Department is establishing an independent commission to study suicide prevention and behavioral health programs across the services. Mike Gooding has the details. The U.S. military in 2020 saw active duty suicides increase for the fourth year in a row. Active duty suicides have been steadily increasing since 2016, when there were 280 instances, until 2020, when there were 377 cases of troops taking their own lives. A new independent commission ordered by Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin will study suicide prevention and behavioral health programs across the services, including site visits, focus groups, interviews and a confidential survey of troops. Independent for the secretary means independent. We, we want them to be able to to be brutally honest with us about what they're finding and therefore uh, their ability to do that. The, the, the freedom that they have to do that's going to be important to the secretary. Virginia Senator and Senate Armed Services Committee member Tim Kaine says the idea of an independent commission is a good one. I think the idea of the commission is to take what's already been a priority and devote even more attention and resources to it. We owe it to our military members, their families, and our veterans. With more than 60 percent of military suicides carried out with a personally owned firearm, according to DOD data, one specific area that Austin is interested in is firearm storage. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. The commission will visit nine bases. The closest to Hampton Roads is Camp Lejeune in North Carolina.